glowing? Did you take one of my vampire books off the shelf by accident? What are you talking about? I don't care about glittery vampires with poofy hair. I want the other story. What happened to Moses? That was Moses. Don't you remember? First, the Israelites recognize that they've lost their divine protection. Then Moses begs for them to be taken back and gets told to reforge the... <gasps> Spoiler alert. Ugh, worst storyteller ever. Okay. Moses had received the Ten Commandments, but had smashed them against the ground when he beheld the sin of his people. You've traded an invisible truth for a lie you can see. I hope it was worth it. Was Moses really mad? No, sweet one. He was heartbroken. No, I'm mad. Who? Children of Elohim, there is wickedness among us. Choose now. Will you serve Elohim or will you tolerate evil? But they can't, you can't. You can't tolerate evil, sweet one. It's too dangerous. If you allow it a place in your life, it will hurt or destroy you. Always. Now, where was I? Elohim gave us these ten condiments, and they are now destroyed. This is such a weird story. Your face is weird. Stop interrupting. How will we recover from his wrath? Where can we hide from his anger at being so quickly forgotten by his chosen people? He doesn't look that angry. Because that's not Elohim! Will Elohim still allow us to live in his country? Yes. But he will not lead you there. But it's not that big of a deal, is it? I mean, it's simple enough. We'll find it on our own. But there are beasts and specters that roam the savage lands between here and Elohim's country. If he were leading the way, we would have nothing to fear. Without Elohim's protection, we're dead already. Why won't he go with us? Out of love, sister. He's leaving us to die out here out of love? Gee, I'm glad he doesn't hate us. Do you think Elohim is a tame god? Does he wait patiently for our prayers and thank us for our notice? He is the heart of the fire and the breath of the wind. He has clothed us, fed us, and loved us, and we have betrayed him. Ours is a jealous God, and we have wounded his heart. Do we want the uncontained power of the fierce heavens upon us now? We would not survive, sister, and we would not deserve to. We need you to speak to Elohim. We deserve to die. Yes, but we want to live. And there's no life outside of him. We do not deserve Elohim's land. Oh, I know. But if he's willing to give it to us, we'd be foolish not to ask. And if he's willing to protect us, we'd be insane not to ask. Are you here? I am. Your people are afraid. They reject me. My people do not know me. In my love, I have given them that right. You once heard their pain, calling to you from across the desert. You freed them from their torment. They cry out to you again. I hear them. Then rescue them again. Please! They welcomed evil into their midst. It carries a price. We will pay it. We will suffer for you. We will bleed for you. What must be done? I have done all that is needed. I will go with you. I want to see you, Elohim. I want to see you as you really are. You cannot see me as I am, child. It would unmake you. If you close your eyes, I'll give you a high five. What'll that do? That's right. I'm glowing.
Elohim has given us a design to build his shelter. What we build will be more magnificent than any of our tents could ever hope to be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, let's get started. Woo. Woo. Woo.